What's up guys? What's up cycling fanatics? That's a crazy setup. I've been busy literally all morning. I'm gonna take you on my first ride in the Tux virtual world today. Here you have all the different moves you can choose from. As you can see on the screen, we've got a lot of data. Right now I'm going over this cobble section. For now we're in Central Park, New York. And that's what you're gonna do for two and a half hours to complete this training. Okay, so today I've got two hours of pretty easy endurance training on my program and the weather outside is not very good. I don't wanna get wet. If I can avoid riding in the rain, I will. I just cleaned my bike, so I'm gonna stay in today. And like I said, I've been busy setting up this setup pretty much all morning, checking out the new Tox software. And I'm gonna take you on my first ride today. I'm gonna be using the training software on my laptop, which I have set up here, with a cable to the big television. And I've got the bike set up on my Neo the indoor trainer that I'm gonna be using. Let me show you how I set up my trainer and then how I select the workout that I'm gonna be riding today. So this is the Tux software and it asks you to log in. And to do that, it will go to the, to the cloud, which is the link between the training app and the desktop app. So you log in with Facebook or Google and it will say your login is successful. You can return back to the app. So there's a couple different options you can do in the training app. You can select a workout based on FTP, power, slope or whatever. And there's loads and loads of workouts already available in the program. You can select a GPS file, both your own GPS file from previous rides or one that's in the database of uh, Tux or in the public database. And then there's the option to select a movie which you can filter in uh, many different ways. You have to download the movie and then you can write a very nice HD film. I will show you these three different options a little bit more later, but first we have to connect our device. I'm on a Tax Neo, which you can see right here. It will automatically detect the trainer once it's switched on. <laughs> Then I will press select all because I want all the data to come from my trainer. And when it turns white, then it's connected. I do the same with my heart rate monitor. So I've got my heart rate during my training. Here we have some settings of the trainer. Interesting settings are road fuel intensity and slope difficulty. If you put the slope difficulty down, you will not notice the gradient as much. So I put it all the way to zero. You won't feel any gradient. Put it all the way to 100% and a 10% gradient will actually feel like a 10% gradient. The same goes for road feel. If you go over gravel or cobbles, the Neo will simulate the bumps in the trainer and you can adjust this to on or off or anything in between. So the first option of the training software is to select a workout, which will give you a very basic screen of data. Now in my own database, I have no workouts yet, but if you select public, you'll see loads and loads of workouts of other people that you can select and, uh, and train on. And you can um, select an FTP workout or a power workout or a slope workout. Now there's the option to make your own workout, which I'm gonna show you. Right here, if you select this icon below the workout tab, you can create your own workout on uh, different types, slope, heart rate, power, FTP, import GPS or import Strava. I'm going to show you just a quick example of a power workout. Um, you can select time or distance and then really quick there's different options here to create your own interval blocks and stuff. Best to just um, play with it a little bit and you'll figure it out. And then I save it as example and it will upload and process through the cloud which will make it available in the app on your smart device or like i'm doing on the computer and now if i select self my own database in the workout tab i see the example that i just made which is a power workout this one and if i select it he will show you what the workout is about and if you hit start training he will load it and you can start your training right away 
and this is what the basic workout screen looks like. So to give you an example, today I wanted to do two hours of easy endurance on the same wattage and I can select following, which is a, a page that I'm following that has a very extensive training schedule and I have a workout that fits my uh, training of today. And then when I hit start training, it's gonna start right away. And this might be the most boring option um, when you have nothing except the trainer view. So it's just the training panel with all your data. So let's start. It's set to 330 watts and that's what you're gonna do for two and a half hours to complete this training. Okay, we're gonna make it a little bit more fun. We're gonna select GPS. You can load a GPS file that's in the database or you can do a GPS file that you've done yourself before. So I'll select public and there's loads and loads of GPS files that are open for everyone to write. And fun thing is when other people are live in the same level, you can actually see them writing. So select a GPS file and go to GPS map. You can see where you're gonna be riding on the map. And if you, have, if you hit start training and it's gonna load straight away, you don't have to download any movies. And it's gonna drop you in a bird's eye view of a sort of 3D Google Maps. Now this is just another example. I'm riding in Central Park, New York. And um, pretty cool, you can zoom in and out and you can see yourself like your little avatar uh, riding through this world and also other people that are online. So if you have a, a buddy that you want to train with, you could ride together in the same level and you can see each other riding. Besides having the, the, the 3D world that you're going to ride in, you also have all the data that you saw on the workout screen, but it's uh, presented in a, in a different way right here. Okay, last but not least, riding a film. This is probably the most entertaining way to be on your indoor trainer. Tox has a very extensive database of HD films that you can ride and they're connected to the trainer. So the faster you go, the faster the movie will play. And if you go very slow, the movie will go really slow. So it's actually realistic to what you're doing. Now you can um, sort these movies by different filters for example, I don't want to go um, too hard, so I select a max slope of 7%, and then they give me all the movies that have that. Right here, we have a, a ride in Belgium with nine others that are live, so we're gonna select that, and you can see all the information of the movie that you wanna ride. You can select different parts of the movie you wanna ride. You can see the GPS map, where it is, and then click download because you'll have to download the movie before you can start writing. So two options, HD ready and full HD. Um, I click on full HD, it's six, almost six and a half gigabytes. So it's gonna take a little bit. So take that into account, hit download and download the movie before you wanna start training. So when the movie is downloaded, you're gonna hit start training and the software is gonna drop you inside the virtual world a real movie and you can start cycling straight away and it will just start moving. You see all the data on the screen just like uh, writing a GPS file and you see everybody live on your screen. So every, every other rider that's riding the same movie at that time, you're gonna see them on the bottom of the screen and also on the right. In the top of the screen, you can see another little bird's eye view of the map. I can toggle to the map. Not sure how I did that. There's all these quick keys that you can use, but I'm not familiar with those. So, cruising through Belgium along the river. Right now I'm going over this cobble section. And back on the tarmac, and you can feel a very distinct difference in the Neo. And that's what the road feel is all about. So you start feeling the bumps on these couple roads in your feet and you can ma manipulate that with the settings as I just showed you. Two hours later. 
three, two, one, go! Woo! Esk. Finishing the workout. Ooh, crazy light. Okay, so just finished the workout. Um, I showed you guys the different possibilities you have in the Tox training software. So you can do a GPS file, a movie, or a workout file that you can create yourself in the cloud. And I wanted to get two hours of a certain wattage in, so I just went for the easy option and ride a workout. Right now, um, I finished it. I'm gonna check it on the analyzer and also I'm gonna show you how it uploads to Strava. In the Tox Training app on your computer, there's a link to go to the cloud to actually view your activities and it will open the, so the browser again and you can see what you've done so far. So I've done three different things, the basic workout mode, GPS file and the movie. And I see them all three. And this is the, um, the workout I did. I can click analyze and I can see all my data. So I've done two hours with the same wattage. Obviously this is more interesting when you do power blocks or interval training to really see what's going on. Now, if you connect your um, account to Strava, it will upload them automatically. So go to subscription and settings and then to connections. And if you toggle on Strava, you will connect it and it will upload it straight away. So here's my Strava data. You can see my training that I just did. Tox Extensive Endurance. That's what the training was called in the, in the Tox database. And again, you can see the data. Also, I've done the New York Central Park ride. It was a GPS file. You can actually see the, the map of where you've been, which is pretty cool. And the same happens to the movie. It also shows up on the map, just like you've really been there. So that's pretty neat. It's almost like you travel all over the world. All right guys, so I hope this gave you a little bit of an idea how to start with the Tox training software. Um, I'm gonna use it for this winter to keep motivated and do my training when it's really shitty weather outside. Just like now, it's raining, so I'm happy I was inside and not outside. If this was helpful, if you liked the video, make sure to give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and I'm gonna see you next time. See ya!